Definitely. So how are you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing Good. wonderful. How about yourself? Good. Doing well. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So uh, what are you working on and how can I help? Well, um, you know what? Uh, I'm working on a lot. I really okay. have a really broad base. I, I just love this field. Uh-huh. And with, uh, I'm, a, I'm pretty creative. And I yeah. also do like marketing and stuff like that. Mm. And with the combination of this thing kind of exploding where so many people are into personal development at all the different levels. Yeah. And then all of the social media marketing and social media tools that are available um, it's just such a wide spectrum of, of great things to really kind of dig into. Yeah. So um, things are evolving. I have like a super, it's like too broad right now, mm-hmm. but it's, it's evolving down in a, in a pretty uh, um, organic method, in an organic way, which I'm, which I'm happy about. Cool. So I have a little bit of an or, unortho, probably an unorthodox uh, request for today. Yeah. You have given so much for free and, I'm able to go on and kind of every day I read a little bit and I take notes and I, I correlate kind of what you have available into what my situation is. Right. And it's very effective for me. So cool. I'm, I'm able to keep doing that. And I tell you the truth, what I, what I really prefer for today would be, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to hear a, a, your story basically of how you evolved into this. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm ha- always happy to share my story. Um, so I guess I'll, I'll kind of do a quick chronology and then you can ask me anything you want about it. Uh, I started in 2008 when I, you know, funny thing was I actually quit a job that where I was uh, the highest paid person <laughs> in a small company. Okay. Uh, but I quit because I felt like they could use the money better <laughs> to do other okay. things. Like I felt like I couldn't really make much of a difference there. But that was a bad, that bad time to quit the job. It was like, you know, right at the start of the recession. Uh, couldn't find a job for a while. And so I started, uh, I started, you know, what I started doing was, um, doing webinars for my friends about okay. social media. Um, they noticed that I was really good at Facebook and LinkedIn. So they're like, George, you know, what shares with us some of your tips. So I said, okay. And so I put together a little webinar for, for some friends. And then I, and then I shared it kind of larger to the larger audience and people really liked it. And one, one person said, you should charge for this stuff. And so that's how I began was I put together a, an online course about using social media. This was back in 2009. And so it was, uh, I think it was even hotter back then. Okay. Uh, and so uh, I, what I did was I then approached a couple of people on LinkedIn who had an audience. Okay. You know, I, I kind of researched them, looked them up. Maybe they have a blog or they have a newsletter. Okay. So I contacted them on LinkedIn. I gave them some, I mean, when I contacted them, I I shared some of my advice on their LinkedIn profile. I'm like, okay, hey, great, great profile, but you could do this and do that. Okay. And then they're like, wow, that's great. And then I said, you know, by the way, I have a free webinar. I'd be happy to share with your audience about this stuff. And then, you know, I also sell an online course. Uh, And if if your audience buys the online course, uh, I'm going to pay you, you know, 30%. Okay. So that's how I, that's really how I got started back in 2009. I, uh, you know, I was really lucky. I think, I think this was partly the, the universe's blessing on what I was doing. Uh, my first, really my first partner um, put me on the map. I feel like she at that time had an email list of 10,000 people. Wow. Which is, which is astounding. Um, and she hosted me twice to her audience. And from there that got me going to, just a few, a few thousand dollars a month already. Wow. <laughs> I know. And then I'm like, my gosh, this is like better than my job. You know, it's like, I mean, it's, I wasn't making as much money yet, but that, you know, I could, I could really call the shots. Right. So I started approaching more partners like that, you know, finding them on, on different, different websites and say, Hey, I could do my social media thing for your audience. And, and back then it was really hot. So they said, yeah, you know, my audience has been asking for it and I don't teach that stuff. So yeah, please bring it. And uh, I did. And so that's how I grew my, my email list from nothing to 15,000 in a few years. Okay. And grew my business from nothing to, you know, at one point, I think in 2011 uh, or so, I was making that year, I think I made 2011, 2012, I made 350,000 that year. I mean, it, I mean, it was, it was astounding. And I was doing this all basically by myself. I didn't have an assistant. I had right. by myself. 
but I was basically selling online courses. And um, 2012, I started having doubts about it. I think I was kind of going through some spiritual okay. inside me. So I was having doubts about all the programs I was selling. Uh, people were buying them, but they weren't, I wasn't hearing back about the kind of results uh, that I was man. hoping to get. I mean, I was taking, I mean, people were buying my stuff for $2,000, you know, like, right. to the, and you probably have seen those programs, $2,000, now 1997, right? You know, you get this, yeah. all these different modules and you don't, you barely get any access to the creator of the program. Yeah, right. Well, I was offering a lot of access. I was offering, at one point I was offering five Q&A calls a week. Okay. Wow. So I was like just offering five Q and A calls and very few people showed up. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I was having a crisis of, of conscience. I'm like, okay, people are paying me a lot of money, but they're not using it. I mean, they're not, they're, they either are using it and feeling intimidated and, and not, uh, mm -hmm. they're, they're not courageous enough to ask questions or, or something is not working about the system. And guess what? All my peers are doing this. Right. Right. You know? And my peers from then are still doing it. Right. Yep. And now they're not selling two thousand dollars. They're selling ten thousand dollars things. Mm -hmm. And then still, uh, there are lots of people who buy those ten thousand dollars things. Right. Most of whom don't get ten thousand dollars worth of value. Right. Well, they you may know? get it, but they're just not capable of, for whatever reason. They're not utilizing it. Right. Yeah. They're not utilizing it, and therefore, so so their their life transformation is not worth <laughs> the ten thousand that right. they paid gotcha. for. So I just I saw myself on that trajectory. I'm like, I can't do it anymore. Uh, I just can't. It's just it's not right, um, because I I mean the the people some of these people who are paying the money they're not they're not rich. Mm -hmm, they're right. in, in some cases they're like taking out a second mortgage or they're yeah yeah you know, or they're taking money out of the retirement or they're right. borrowing from family or you know and it's just like and this is it's still happening today, man. Sure, of course. I mean, sure. people are getting gouged, you know, left and right. And so I said, okay, I'm going to take a stand. I can't do this anymore. And so I, I pretty abruptly stopped in 2012 selling these things. And of course, my income went from 300000 mm -hmm. down to, you know, still like 100000 or so. But I, so I started experimenting with different things. I started experimenting with selling membership programs, like okay. $100, $120 a month. That's the one, one thing I sold for that. I even, I even started a multi-level thing. Okay. I, I started my own multi-level marketing thing where... It was, it was a membership to a business training, personal development type thing. And that was 2012, 120 bucks a month. Uh, you know, there, I, I was only doing it down to three levels. So just right. keep it simple. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and I found that um, actually people, some people really liked it. Um, and some people really made like lifelong friends from it, which is great. But most people can't sell themselves out of a brown bag. You know, <laughs> they, they, yeah. Yeah. And so people join these MLMs and they just can't make a go of it because they're not salespeople. Right. Maybe like three or maybe like five or three percent yeah. really max yeah. it out. And then the company points to those three or five and say, hey, look. Yeah. 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 You can you can do this too. And so that was what's happening to me. Like I had I had, you know, I mean, you know, it was just me. So I had about 150 members and you know, most of those members were either brought in by me or by a few people. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, this is not duplicating, right? And so I shut that down in 2013 and I went to a $60 a month membership um, for just my trainings and things mm -hmm. like that. And, and that was okay, but I also felt like people weren't really using that as much. So I just kind of stopped the whole membership thing altogether. In 2014, I just said, listen, I'm just going to go back to one-on-one -on -one coaching, which I never really did. I mean, since the beginning, I really did courses. I started right. with courses. Right. I never really did one-on-one. -on -one. So I feel like 2014 was my first year of doing one-to-one -one coaching. Okay. Yeah, and also, so- recently, very recently. Very recently. I mean, I just, yeah, I just started doing, so I feel like I'm learning so much from doing one-to-one. -one. Okay. I, I always used to research, package the research, and sell it. Gotcha. Now I'm actually seeing people change and holding right. people to the so fire. It's so, yeah, so it's rewarding, fulfilling for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so, and, and it's, and it's, and it's there, there's, a, there's a kind of learning that can't happen just from research. Right. There's a kind of um, learning that needs to happen from the experience. Right, right. And so that's kind of how I feel like what I'm learning now is the experience of actual Okay. Long term, longer term interaction with one to one people and seeing, oh my gosh, okay, so this is really where they're stuck. 
And this is really what, right. We're doing. Yeah. You know? And, and so, yeah, that's 2014. I, I just decided to give away. <laughs> it's like from now on, I'm going to give away all my content, no more selling of it. Cause mm-hmm. I just felt, and I'll tell you, once I started giving it all away, I had a liberation of creativity. Wow. Wow. Because this is the weirdest thing. Like you would ima- you would think that, well, George, if you give away your content, you, you don't have anything else to give away because you give away everything. Well, mm-hmm. the irony is, okay, it, it may be true. Like if you give away the stuff in your house, you, eventually you have nothing in your house. Okay. Right. Right. So tangible things has a limit. You can't give it all yeah. away, but intangibles like knowledge, like creativity, mm-hmm. like love, like generosity, like service. Somehow when you give it away, you like find there's more. Yeah. It's like a magic well, you know, like right. you yes. water, you, you thought you were giving away all the water, but there's like rushing springs of water just flowing in. Right. And that's kind of what happened with my, my ideas. It's like I started, I, w- I started giving away. And the stuff I was giving away in 2014. Well, I, guess, I guess you got out of the box. Uh, you know, you were yeah. probably in the box a little bit and then that uh, enabled to get you out of the box. Exactly. Yeah, like I, I, I mean, even the stuff I was, I was giving away in 2013, 2014, like the stuff I'm giving away now is even better than that. So it's like, it's just, it just keeps getting better. Awesome. Um, and awesome. so, and, and it keep, I have like, you know, hundreds of ideas that I haven't yet given away. Just I haven't had time to, to, to say Yeah, that. integrate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so that's kind of in short. Uh, okay. Oh, that's, and, that's and the nice thing, of course, is that I'm, I'm making, you know, I'm making enough money. You know, that's the main yeah. thing. I'm making enough money from one-on-one. I don't need to make more. I'm making, I mean, I'm, I'm a fairly young guy. I, I'm, st- I'm planning to work at least 30 more years, mm-hmm. not 40 yeah. or 50 more years. So I am saving for retirement, but I'm saving, you know, at a gradual pace. I'm looking at my numbers and I'm making sure, okay, if I save for 30 years, I, I can, if I'm planning to work till the day I die. So, uh, or the day I, the day I can't work anymore. So I'm like, okay, I just need to save for 10 years. If right. I, if I can't work the last 10 years of my life, right, I, sure, I, sure. I can live. And so I just need to save that much. And so I kind of do my own calculation on that. And I'm just saving away, you know, enough uh, for 30 years. And, and that's it. I mean, that, the, the, the freedom that comes from not having to compete with my peers right. uh, on the, the money part of it. Sure. Because the peers that I was working with back in 2009, 2010, now they're striving for seven figures. Yeah, or yeah. some of them even higher than that, and 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 there's no end. They're, they're no, I, no. I, in my sense is they're, it's almost like they're in this rat race, right, of a different kind. Mm-hmm. Even though they're yeah. own, they're own their their, yeah. their own boss, but now they're building teams, and I'm like, I see their headaches from building teams too. You right. know? <laughs> like, <laughs> and, and you know, like I feel like you're you're out of you. You're out of you are being you. Like right now, yeah. you are a hundred percent authentic. Yeah, I try to be. <laughs> I'm sure you feel pretty good when you wake. You feel pretty good from when yeah. you wake up to when you go to bed. You yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. to me, that is worth. I'll gladly take a whole bunch less money because <laughs> yeah. you can't put a price on that. And that's yeah. Well, and the yeah. thing is, I have a lot of time. I right. mean, my my peers would never do this. They 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 put themselves on such a pedestal. Yeah. Even people paying them ten thousand dollars, they barely get access to them. Right. It, it's that kind of, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm a person of the people, you know, like sure, sure. You know, I want to be among the people, you know? Right. Yeah. Um, my, my hero is not, you know, necessarily, um, uh, Tony Robbins. My hero is mother Teresa. Gotcha. Uh, that's my, that she was among the people. Right. You know, I, I'm not going to be in, in poverty, but I'm a sort of a modern type. Of mother right. Teresa. No, no, no. I'm an information age mother Teresa. Yeah. Yeah. No, I tell you what well, you're, I, I'm so grateful that I, that I was able to come to that seminar. Shweta uh, organized it Yeah. because I was kind of looking for, uh, I'm not going to say something to emulate because that's not the right term, but I was looking for a kind of a beacon Yeah. because everything that's out there doesn't, doesn't really resonate with me. I'm, I'm very similar to you, your, yeah. your mindset. So immediately upon seeing you, I felt, wow, there's a beacon. There's kind of, that's, that's me. That's, Everything you said so far, every word I've heard come out of your mouth so far, everything I've read from you, the Facebook posts, every single one of it resonates with me. Oh, that's awesome. Where I just feel, oh, wow, that's so in sync. Uh, and so it's just, it's great to have that as kind of um, to, uh, you know, just kind of set my goals and to, it's so such valuable information and, and everything. So I'm just really grateful to have had oh. you, to my, uh, you know, my attention. 
Well, I'm so, I'm so glad we met, you know, and, and if I can do anything to help you along your, your ideal path, I'm happy to. Oh, wonderful. So wonderful. What, where do you see yourself? I mean, what would you, uh, how would you like to be serving? Well, I am uh, right, right now. I, I was doing very well financially. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I was doing, it was, um, I loved it for about 15 years. I absolutely loved it. It was involved with entertainment. Great. Very exciting. It was very fun. I got to interact with celebrities. And wow. Yeah. Oh, was what, 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 what exactly were you doing? Uh, I, had a, I had a marketing and promotion company. Uh -huh. And I would do very creative. I would do very creative, low-cost low marketing for various companies, nice. which I love. I love creativity. Yeah. I like especially going in, not charging a lot. Yeah. Just, you know, really blowing it out the doors, just getting a bunch of people in and having yeah. it be very profitable for the client and so forth. And they didn't spend any money. Wow. And uh, yeah, so I, I like turning an idea into uh, something big that everyone gets to enjoy and That's cool. know, happy with and so forth. And I, I wound up, believe it or not, kind of segueing from that into uh, doing casino entertainment. Huh. Uh, just for fun. Uh, yeah. You know, we did a whole bunch of charity work. We did, uh, we do a lot of, did a lot of corporate and fundraising. And I got involved with like nightclubs and bars, which I liked in my early 30s. That was great. I oh, yeah, I'm sure. It was out at a whole bunch of locations. and Lots of fun, yeah. Yeah, so around 44, I'm 40, uh, I'm going to be 48 soon. Uh, around 44. You look good for 48. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> good <to> <laughs> how, how old are you, by the way? Uh, do you care to you guess? Know what I'm saying. You, don't, you don't have to say, you don't have to say. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm turning uh, 39 this year. You look great, too. You oh, look thanks, great thanks. Too. <laughs> Well, you know what it is? I think, I think so much of it is, is energy from within, so yeah. much of the appearance outwards and, and so yeah. forth. So I think that's, uh, that plays a who, who, huge part. So you'll probably be looking young for, uh, for a very long time to come. Yeah, I, either way. If I look old, I'll just say, oh, I'm, I'm an elder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, all, that's all. But I, um, about 44, I, I, I was kind of getting a little bit burned out on it anyway. Right. Uh, so the, even going out and the activities and so forth, which I used to love so much, were just doing the same thing. I think yeah. just doing the same thing repetitively right. you know, can get a little bit old. But besides that, I started to ask myself, you know, what's going to be my legacy? You know, what's going to be how I'm remembered? What am I going to leave behind? Mm. And that just wasn't enough. That just wasn't um, fulfilling enough. Mm. And I've always loved personal development. I've actually always done it. I just never marketed or got paid for it. I've yeah. just kind of instinctively have, have kind of done it. So uh, I just said, let me, let me jump into this. Wow. So I, I kind of saw a lot of, um, I guess shortcomings is the right word. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's anything wrong with the material. I'm an avid personal development junkie. So I have listened to pretty much every speaker. I've read most of <laughs> books. Uh, seminars, tapes, everything. I just, I just really love it. I, the energy of it alone is, is enough to have me, you know, give it my attention and, and so forth. Yeah. So I, I'm familiar with pretty much all the latest concepts and, and methods and so forth. And what I noticed was it seems a very pretty big majority of people kind of shuffle from book to book and program to program. Yeah. And I'm a, I'm a deep thinker and I kind of looked at it and analyzed and I guess maybe a little intuition too. Um, and what I kind of, what I kind of noticed was it, I think it has become a crutch for a lot of people mm -hmm. where it gives them the illusion that they're, oh, I'm in process. I'm working. I'm, so it's almost like the ego or the lower self kind of tricks the higher self yeah. into saying, oh, no, well, you're fine. Just keep reading. Just keep whatever. And they're not. They're kind of missing like maybe it's three more steps they have to go in terms of implementation or a switch in mindset or, mm. or so forth. Yeah. But they're in this kind of, and I've known people for decades who are in process. Wow. Man. Tons and tons of money. So I did, I did, a, I've been analyzing it for a long time. I've been aware of that dynamic. And then I really got serious about it. Uh -huh. And I actually did a, like a lot of research and a lot of so forth specifically on that. Yeah. And then I said, well, what's the solution? How do, how do you create a bridge yeah. you know, for that? Right. And I, uh, so I did. I put my attention to that. I did a lot of trial and error. And real quick, I, I kind of summed it down to, to three things. Yeah. That the reason that most people aren't able to cross that bridge, if they want to, because uh, a lot of people say they want it, but really they're kind of terrified of mm. getting what they want. They're terrified of, 
mm-hmm. reaching their main goals and you know mm-hmm. so forth so but it's a, a lack of focus mm-hmm. a lack of accountability mm-hmm. and a lack of sustained effort mm. and then there's a, there's a fourth one that i don't always mention to everyone but it's low self-esteem which is right. epidemic in in the u i live oh, in yeah. panama i go back and forth oh. latin america and u.s and what I notice is Latin America, they have very healthy self-esteem. Interesting. Yeah, it, it's wow. not even, they don't even have a really a word for self-esteem. It's not even a concept for them. Interesting. Wow. They just live it. They're just, they just, they automatically have been raised or whatever it is. They love themselves. They love people around them. Wow. It's not even a topic. It's not yeah. something you could even bring up. It's so. That's strange. So, so is it, is it so, so it's North America. I, I think George, my, my, um, my thoughts are that, I don't know if this has happened intentionally or just by accident, but we are a market-driven society. Right. So I don't know if Madison Avenue yeah. deliberately put these dynamics into effect where you have to consume, consume, consume for your self-esteem. I don't know if it was deliberate or it just evolved that way and then well, they saw it. And it's, pro- it. it's profitable. Sure, of course. Oh, because people who are lower self-esteem are more easy to be manipulated to buy stuff. Sure, and they're going to be consuming forever. They're going to always be well, consuming. and yeah, exactly. And I mean, I, I look at my industry of you know marketing trainings and stuff. That the same thing. They're they're yeah. saying you know you're gonna you're gonna be left behind if you don't get on if you don't buy this thing and learn how to do this. Exactly. And, and so, man, Tony, I feel like you're. I have I have, well, I mean, just in the short time we know each other, I haven't heard this part of your story. You know that you yeah yeah coaching you, the, this insight you come across. I, have you either written an article or? I wrote, well, I wrote a book. I, have a, I wrote a whole book on it. Oh, you did! Wow. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you a copy. I'll send, I'll send a copy oh, to you. No worries. I, I I'll look it up on Amazon. Um, sure. I'm, I'm a super well, so, so basically, my my program and same as you. I'm I'm really not into making money. I have to make money to eat, and I don't sure. I don't need an extravagant lifestyle at all. I don't want an extravagant lifestyle. Yeah. But just like you, I just want to, I want to have a, things that are like, I like to travel. So that's, I don't, I'll drive a Maxima. I'll drive a whatever, an yeah. old one, with yeah. no payments. I have, a, my car's like 14 years old. It looks nice. It gets me around. The fact that I don't have payments or high insurance. Totally. That translates into travel. I love it, dude. I love yeah. it. So, yeah. um, so I actually, my program is designed where if they need me after six weeks, I didn't do my job right. Interesting. So I should be obsolete after after six weeks. That's awesome. Wow. And uh, yeah, so I, I have like a whole bunch of price points and uh, I like them to come in lower. Mm-hmm. You know, I like, uh, I like long-term, as far as my income goes, I like to have um, sustainable, you know, long-term sustainable mm-hmm. and, and relatively low, like, like just kind of like similar to you mm-hmm. to do one-on-ones, to do seminars, you know, when you want mm-hmm. great. Yeah. But then to have it kind of residual. So residual mm-hmm. passive yeah. at a very, very low rate. Yeah. Um, do, do you have, um, let's see, I'm just looking at, you have your gold mode tracker website, but you don't have your own Tony. Well, Bush you website. know what? Thanks to you. Thanks to you, I am rebranding everything. Oh. So I'm actually almost done. I'm almost done with my, uh, I have a, so I realized that the go mode thing, it was too generic. It was too, there's no personality to it. There was not, no one that people can kind of yes. connect with. Yes. And so I decided to go the opposite. So I have, I'm going to leave that up. I'm going to leave that up as a tutorial sure. on how to use it. On, sure. It's going to be one of the tools mm-hmm. of what I offer. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then I'm, I'm actually, uh, I'm almost done with it. I've yeah. created a whole new Tony Bussy life solutions with a big picture of me and cool. yeah. So That's much awesome. more personalized. Yeah. Oh, I, love it. People yeah. Want to connect. I feel like, I feel like, um, it would be great to see an, at, you know, an, an article, um, kind of giving a, a, like a five minute article overview of what you, what you shared with me today. I mean, sure. just stuff to, because people are like, people are, people are looking for the secret. You know what I mean? Like say, yes. they're doing all the stuff and it hasn't worked for them. And you come along and say, listen, in my research, this is the, this is the, this is the reason why it's not working. Yeah. Well, and and what when, they, when they feel like you're not just trying to sell them more and more stuff, right. they're like, oh, okay. So he's not just another guy trying to sell me, a, you know, more yeah. stuff. 
that that will that will draw that will draw an audience. I would I'm pretty sure. And and also um, like uh, a, yeah, you. I tell you what, George. You, I mean, you've been so helpful on so many levels. One of the when we first met that first uh, meeting we had in Queens, when you mentioned about these companies that show you how to do it and so forth, what they never mention, and it's very true is that it takes trial and error. It takes, yes. it's not just you sign up and you do it. Right. I was struggling. I was, I was going through if it wasn't working. And, you know, our subconscious and our inner dialogues, I'm saying, oh, it's me. I'm doing something wrong. Right. So when you s- said that, yeah. I, it immediately kind of helped me, let me relax a little bit and just yeah. say, hey, it's normal. So you just yeah. got to keep on, you know, try it here, try it there, try this, try that. So yeah. I'm, I'm in the process. I have, I have a phenomenal product, I'll be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I'm coming out of it totally out of the heart. I give it away. Like I, yeah. the thing that I invented, I, I made a web app that makes it really easy to do and so forth. Yeah, I thought well, it's not an iPhone app, is it? It's not. Um, okay. I'm thinking about doing an iPhone. The thing is that it's got a, it's got, it's more complicated. It's, it's, uh, it's not complicated. It's comprehensive. Yeah, sure. Simple, sure. but it's comprehensive. Yep. And you've only got to go on once a day. Like you would go on once a day to enter your results in mm-hmm. one section, mm-hmm. but then there's peripheral se- sections that are also kind of important. Right. And I'll, I'll tell you, not to toot, it's not tooting my horn. Um, in working with clients with it, we're doing groundbreaking stuff with um, uh, how the mind works and how, how dynamics work. It, people are anxiety. Um, because of the two cultures, People up here, it's anxiety that's yeah. that's keeping most. There's so much analysis and so much kind of fear based, and you're you're so spiritual. So people are operating so much from the lower self, yeah, with fear, with limit, with analysis, yeah. with rigidity. There's like so much rigidity, mm. and they're not. And I'm so what I'm kind of t- teaching people now is connect with that higher self. Yeah, clean. I'm going to do a little promo now with like spring cleaning. Clean yourself out. Mm-hmm. And just real quick, what I do is it's kind of comprehensive in that uh, we also eat besides mm-hmm. this mental thing with the anxiety and so forth and low self-esteem. We're ha- we have all this processed toxic foods and I've done tons of research. I mean, sugar alone af- has a oh, huge yeah. effect on our brain. It, it affects our thinking yeah. to, to a huge extent. Right. So I'm, I'm convinced a lot of anxiety, a lot of the fear, a lot of depression, a lot of the low self-esteem is related to the diet, is processed foods and sugar. And it's not just that we're ingesting toxins and it's going into our bloodstream and our systems, but we're not getting the nutrients. It's a yeah. double-edged sword. Right. There are, there are things in these nutrients that for millions of years have helped our brains to function properly. Yeah, yeah. That, have, that make us optimistic, that create endorphins in us. Right. You know, a tomato has 10,000 phytochemicals. Mm-hmm. And the corporations... Look at the tomato. Oh, it's got vitamin D. It's got vitamin A. It's got real flavor. It's got this. They take, they extract six things out of the tomato, right? Put it into a pill, and they say, "Oh, well, here's your thing. Just take this in the morning, <laughs> you know, whatever." Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. time you're getting those six things, but you're missing out on nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-four things <laughs> that we good. are now That's we really are now finding out are absolutely crucial yeah. to well balanced you know, health, mind, and, and spirit. So. Um, so I clear That's the awesome. toxins out. I slowly get the toxins out. Mm-hmm. I put nu- nutrients in. Mm-hmm. And then I also get them uh, meditation, stuff like that. And uh, I start them really slow with exercise, depending on where they're at. So my what I did is I created a scale of one to a thousand. Wow. And that scale is your vibration. I call it your, your energy level. Mm-hmm. But it's the sum total of your physical, emotional, and mental, I, I don't say spiritual to most people, but sure. it's just, it is spiritual, really. Sure, sure. It's the sum total of everything. It's really like where you're vibrating as a whole. Yeah. And um, what I do is, for some people, I kind of sneak them. I, you can't, if you're vibrating at 400, you are going to eat and crave really crappy foods. Mm, you yep. will not eat. You, no matter how much you want, no matter how much you hate what you're eating, mm. at 400, you cannot make that jump. Right. I've been st- I've been at 400 many times and wow. and you just can't. You can do it for a day for a meal, but the cravings to whatever else. Yeah, the- dude, you should you should write and 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 speak about the scale too. Oh, I did. It's in my book. Yeah, it's in my okay, book. Okay. I did it. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. You, you just got I just I just bought your book on Kindle. Oh, I was going to give it to so, you. Okay. No, no. I I uh, I I do most of my books digitally anyway. 
But um, hey, I just realized I have a, I have a, a and I have to, I have to run as well. Yeah, but great to, great to connect, man. And uh, oh, this is so great. I, I, I was, I was really wanting to hear more about you, and I, yeah. you've given so much away. So I mean, I'm, and it's so helpful to me. Good. To talk more about that would have been kind of redundant a little bit. Well, so. I mean, any questions you ever have, you know, I, I want to see you succeed. I, I like the idea of um, you, you have consultants that people can pay, can create a career out of this. So I, I. I love people being able to, to, you know, do what they love and get paid for. So I, I'm, this is great, but Tony, let's keep in touch. Keep me up. Absolutely. No, absolutely. And, uh, we'll, we'll talk again. Fantastic. Thank great. Thanks so much. Have yeah, a great day, man. Take Bye-bye care. Now. Take Bye. care. Bye-bye.